Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. I had some problems with my JDeveloper application and uh, ended up having up to delete out the system directory and uh, with it, all of my subversion connections disappeared. So, returning to JDeveloper, um, I um, wanted to get the subversion connections back in order. So um, in one of my previous videos, I did note that I could not find the versioning navigator, and here it is. It's under team, which kind of makes sense because you're usually working with a team in a big group. <clears throat> and clicking on that, you will then get this window. But still, we need to uh, add the connections. So if we do the new connection, new repository connection, just right click on this and we get this. Then we have the repository URL. Now, um, in my case, it happens to be a local file directory. It could be a HTTP setting based on what type of system you have. Um, and also keep in mind that um, JDeveloper requires um, file, and I think it's three slashes. Like that. And actually, it is, in fact, file with a semicolon and then three flashes and then the directory structure. Now, um, I'm going to just call this um, HR base and 11.222 is the version I have of JDeveloper. I used to have an earlier version also, so it's delegated. <clears throat> now, you'll notice that the test and read access button is not uh, highlighted or enabled and that is because you need to change this to forward slashes and voila it immediately becomes available so this is how you do it and there you can now <coughs> look at your case and in fact this is new um, I created it um, because I was having troubles with the other one. But it's um, very similar to what um, you would do. So that is how to connect to a subversion repository. I hope this will be of help and have a good evening.